Crelock system, a powerful tool in molecular biology and genetic engineering, is used to manipulate DNA sequences in living organisms, including mice, plants, and bacteria. Crelock system offers tremendous versatility and precision in genetic manipulation, making it an invaluable tool for studying gene functions and regulation in various biological systems. Hello everyone, I am Dr. Tanushri and in this video you will learn about Crelock system. Also you will learn the strategy of solving CSIR net questions based on this topic. So let's first understand what is Crelock system. Crelock system is a technology that can be used to induce site-specific recombination events. It is one of the most powerful tools in the mouse geneticist's toolbox because it enables geneticists to generate tissue-specific and inducible knockouts and thereby have acquisite control over the location and timing of gene expression. So let's understand about the system in detail. This system consists of two components which are derived from P1 bacteriophage, the Cre recombinase and LOXP recombination site. Please note that P1 bacteriophage uses these two components, that is Cre recombinase and LOXP recognition site, as parts of their natural viral life cycle. And researchers, they have adapted the components for use in genome manipulation. So what is Cree recombinase and LOXP site? Cree recombinase, originally named because it causes recombination, although later it is referred to as cyclization recombinase. DNA recombinase produced from Cree, that is cyclization recombinase. So C from cyclization, RE from recombinase. So Cree, the DNA recombinase produced from Cree gene of bacteriophage P1 is a 38 kilo delton protein responsible for intra and intermolecular recombination at the LOXP recognition site. Cree recombinase, you can say it's an enzyme that works like a scissors to cut out a gene that is in between two target sequences called as LOXP site. So let's say why is the target gene? So it will be present between the two LOXP sites and it will be cut by Cre recombinase. Now the advantage of using this Cre recombinase is that this enzyme is expressed only in certain cell types. Thus, the targeted gene will be knocked out of only those cells and only when the researcher wants them to be. Also, a key advantage of the system is that Cre acts independently of any other accessory proteins or cofactors, thus allowing for broad applications and variety of experiments. LOXP, which stands for locus of X, that is crossover in P1, are the sites which are 34 base pair long. So here you can see the sequences, the 34 base pair long recognition sequences. And this sequence consists of 13 base pair long palindromic repeats. So palindromic uh, sequences are those which are read same when you read it from 5 prime to 3 prime direction in both the strands of DNA. So here you can see these are the palindromic sequences and they are separated by 8 base pair long asymmetric core spacer, we call it as spacer sequence. Kindly note the asymmetry in this core sequence that is spacer sequence gives the log speed directionality. Also kindly note that this log P sequence does not occur naturally in any known genome other than P1 phage and is long enough that there is virtually no chance of it occurring randomly. Therefore, inserting log P 
सेट एट डेलीब्रेट लोकेशन इन ए डी एन ए सीक्वेंस अलाउज फॉर वेरी स्पेसिफिक मैनिपुलेशंस नाउ लेट्स नो अबाउट क्री लॉक्सपी सिस्टम हाउ इट वर्क क्री रिकॉम्बिनेज इट कैटेलाइज द साइट स्पेसिफिक रिकॉम्बिनेशन इवेंट बिटवीन टू लॉक्सपी साइट्स विच कैन बी लोकेटेड आइदर ऑन द सेम और ऑन सेपरेट पीसेज ऑफ डी एन ए सो एज शोन ओवर हेयर द जीन वाई इज लोकेटेड बिटवीन टू लॉक्सपी साइट एंड दिस इज द सीक्वेंस ऑफ अ सिंगल लॉक्सपी साइट सो थर्टी फोर बेस पेयर सीक्वेंस इट इज सो दीज आर थर्टीन पेलिंड्रामिक बेस पेयर थर्टीन पेलिंड्रामिक सीक्वेंसेज एंड दिस इज द एट बेस पेयर स्पेसर और कोर सीक्वेंस now both 13 base pair this one and this one repeat sequence on a single lock spi site are recognized and bound by cree protein so as shown over here this cree recombinase will recognize and bind to one of the lock spi site and this dimer formed then in turn will bind to a dimer or another lock spi site to form a tetramer now lock sites are directional and the two sides joined by tetramer are parallel in orientation so double stranded dna is cut at both lock spi sites by the cree protein and the strands are then joined rejoined with dna ligase in quick and efficient process the result of recombination depends on the orientation of the lock spi site so here you can see that this is inactivated gene y this portion is been removed and one lock spi site and the remaining part of the dna is joined with the dna ligase so this is the inactivated gene left now kindly note that there are three general outcomes based on the location and orientation of the lock spi sites as shown over here inversion deletion and translocation so here in this overview of free lock spi system figure it's the deletion which is been shown but inversion and translocation all can also occur inversion occur when the lock spi sites are on same dna strand as shown over here so this is the same dna strand on which the two lock two lock spi sites are present but see their directionality they are in opposite directions lock spi like one lock spi is facing this way this way and another this way so they are in opposite orientations basically and recombination results in an inversion and you can see that the region in between these lock spi sites is reversed so when the lock spi sites have opposite orientation the gene present in between will be reversed the reason the region of dna between the lock spi sites will be reversed deletion deletion occurs if the sites face in same direction as shown over here so in this case the sequence between the lock spi site is excised as a circular piece of dna and will not be maintained so like this portion will not be maintained and even here this portion will not be maintained translocation on the other hand will happen if the sites are on separate dna molecule like here you can see this is the lock spi site on one dna molecule this is lock spi site on another dna molecule so a translocation event is generated at the lock spi site in this case like here you can see some portion of this dna strands comes over here as shown with the red color and some portion of this strand comes over here as shown with the blue strand so this is an overview of free lock spi system and the three general outcomes based on location and orientation of lock spi sites now let's have a look at the type of questions which are asked in part c of csi and net life science exam so here is one such question which is a figure based question you can see in the question a figure is given and based on this figure some statements are given so question is that in a transgenic mice line lock spi sites are introduced in target gene a in the following manner this transgenic mice line was mated with another transgenic mice line where cree recombinase is expressed only in b cells so in this uh, figure given in the question a promoter is shown exon 1 and in between exon 1 lock spi site is given and then exon 2 and then another lock spi site is given so basically exon 2 is located in between these two lock spi sites 
and as i have mentioned in the previous slide the direction the location and direction of locks p site is very much important so here we can see that the locks p sites are facing in the same direction so we have to find out that what will be the expression profile of gene a in cre locks recombinant mice so this is your gene a four options are given gene will not be expressed in b cells as orientation of exon 1 will be inverted by cre option 2 gene will not be expressed in b cells as exon 2 will be deleted by cre option 3 gene will not gene will only be expressed in b cells of recombinant mice where cre removes the locks uh, will remove the two locks b sites and option 4 gene will not be expressed in b cells as orientation of exon 2 will be inverted now kindly note the strategy of solving such question is that uh, you all have to recall about the cre locks p system here and uh, simply looking at the the location and direction of locks p site all you need to recall here is that whether a deletion happens inversion happens or translocation happens so we have already studied in detail that uh, inversion happens when the locks p sites are on same dna strand are in opposite orientation but deletion happens when the sites face in same direction and translocation happens if the sites are on separate dna molecule so in the question the locks p sites are facing the same direction and exon 2 is in between these locks p sites so definitely we expect deletion to happen right and this is what we have to see in the given options so option 1 is gene will not be expressed in b cell as orientation of exon 1 will be inverted by cre so this is not correct second gene will not be expressed in b cell as exon 2 will be deleted so yes this is what we are looking for this keyword deletion and this is mentioned over here so this is the answer but let's go for let's check 3 and 4 also third is gene will only be expressed in b cell of recombinant mice where 3 removes the two locks p site so this is again incorrect and fourth is gene will not be expressed in b cells as orientation of exon 2 will be inverted so i've already told you inversion will happen when the so the inversion will happen when the locks p sites are in opposite orientation so it is not the case given here so it's a very easy question it might appears to be uh, difficult but all you need to recall here is about these three events which are happening based on the locks p location and orientation now this is another type of question which you can expect in part c of csnet life science exam where the options are in form of figures so question is cre locks p system is used by phage p1 to remove terminally redundant sequences that arise during packaging of phage dna cre locks system can be used to create targeted deletion insertion and inversion in genome of transgenic animals and plants so this we already know consider a series of genetic markers a to k how should the locks p sites be positioned in order that cre recombinase can create an inversion in the efg segment relative to a b c d and h i j k marker so again this question is very scoring and if you are getting like this question has been asked in previous year csr net life science question paper so you can see that these type of questions are very scoring all you need to do is that you have to recall that what happens like what is the orientation of the locks p for an inversion to happen so all we need here is an opposite orientation of locks p site in order to create an inversion so if you look at option a locks p sites are facing the same direction so this leads to deletion not inversion so this cannot be the answer option b again locks p is facing the the sites are facing in same direction and uh, sequence d e f g is present in between so it will be excised but we have to only look for e f g segment and that to inversion so again this is not correct because deletion will happen here then option c so here one locks p site is facing in this direction and another is just facing opposite to the direction of the first locks p site 
and yes in between we have e f g only and definitely if the sides faced in same direction if the log p sides are on same strand and are in opposite orientation then definitely it will lead to inversion so the region of dna between log p site is reversed which is efg in this case so it will be reversed that is it will be gfe after inversion and uh, so this is the answer and if we look at option d so again here you can see log p site is facing in the same direction which will lead to deletion so here answer is option c now another type of question is statement based question as you can see here this question is uh, from previous year csi net life science paper this is a part c question that construction of knockout mice may be performed using the cree log p system eventually the cree recombinase of bacteriophage p1 mediate site specific recombination at a 34 base pair sequence log p from the following statement choose the incorrect event so to answer such type of questions you have to go through each statement one by one and you have to focus on this word that you have to choose the incorrect statement not the correct one so given in the option the very first statement is that alteration of chromosomal copy of target gene requires a guide rna so recall that in cree log p system we have already studied in previous slide about cree log p system so does guide rna is used in cree log p system that you have to find out that you have to recall here then log p containing mice should not express cree recombinase prior to mating third statement is cree recombinase can be expressed by inducible promoter and fourth statement is induction of promoter results in expression of cree recombination at log p site and excision of sequence in between now to answer this type of question where the statements uh, include the concept about promoters and about the about how the cree recombinase is expressed we have to learn some additional information about cree log p system so as shown over here so in figure a we have already studied about uh, so in figure a the overview of cree log p system is mentioned which we have already studied in previous slide and here in figure b you can see a term conditional mutation is mentioned and also here you can see a promoter along with cree recombinase is attached over here and one more term is there called as floxed alleles so let's understand about conditional mutation promoter and floxed allele kindly note that traditional gene knockout approach involves completely deleting or disrupting the function of a gene throughout the entire organism that is the when the gene present in all the cells in the body of an organism will be disrupted or deleted but this often leads to embryonic lethality or serial phenotypic consequences making it difficult to study the gene function in later developmental stages or in specific tissue so conditional knockout is where we have we want to perform the knockout in a specific cells of a uh, in a specific tissue so specific or conditional gene knockout overcome these limitations by using genetic engineering technique to introduce log p site which is recognized by cree recombinase and it is flanking critical exons of gene of interest so let's say why is the gene of interest and this log p site is flanking it so this these log p flanked alleles are referred to as floxed alleles so these are the floxed alleles of gene why so these are the genetic constructs flox alleles are the genetic constructs used in molecular biology and genetics research particularly in field of conditional gene knockout or gene manipulation so here in figure b you can see this is a general breeding strategy for conditional mutation using log p and cree uh, driving mouse line is shown so cree driver strain is generated in which cree recombinase is expressed by a promoter that specifically targets the cells or tissue of interest so in one mouse we will introduce this uh, cree recombinase which is expressed by this promoter as shown over here so the purpose of this promoter is that it will allow the cree recombinase to express in a target cell only or tissue of interest only then here in another mouse we will introduce the log p flank dna so log p flank dna containing mouse strain 
is generated and then conditional lockout mice are then generated by breeding the creed driver strain with floxed mouse strain so we'll cross the creed driver strain with a floxed mouse strain and that results into a conditional knockout mice so here you can see the creed recombinase as uh, shown in the overview of loxp system it will bind to loxp site and based on the orientation of the loxp site it results into the so based on the location and orientation of loxp site it will results into the deletion inversion or translocation so here it is shown that expression of the creed recombinase will excise the flox loci and inactivates the gene y over here so this gene is inactivated in specifically in tissue x and not in any other tissue in the body of an organism now although creed lox p system is predominantly used in genetic excision but please note it can also induces the inversion and translocation of dna between two lox p sites depending on orientation and location of lox p sites so we can control the specificity and timing of recombination by using the promoters so here in the question four statements are given so one thing is clear we have already seen the creelox p system how it works so statement one is incorrect because in creelox p system guide rna is not used so can you name the system in which guide rna is used please let us know in the comment section so statement 1 is incorrect and because only we have to choose the incorrect statement this is the answer and let's check second third and fourth like why they are correct so lox p containing mice should not express cre recombinase prior to mating so this is absolutely right in conditional uh, knockout the cre recombinase like it will not be allowed to express it will only express after the mating and the third statement is cre recombinase can be expressed by inducible promoter so this is again correct i have showed you in the previous slide that promoter is needed in order to control the expression of the recombinase and fourth statement is induction of promoter results in expression of cre this is right and recombination at lox p sites and excision of sequence in between so second third and fourth statements are correct and only statement one is incorrect and hence it is the answer so this is about cre lox p system i have showed you three types of questions which are asked in csir net life science exam so prepare this topic accordingly keep revising and learning thank you